Hey champions, it's Arian Tyson here. Feel free to like, comment, or share this video. I want to ask you a question. Are you positioned for greatness? Are you positioned to receive the greatness that you're destined for? I say that because there are many people that I know that are talented. Many people that I know and that you also know. You may be someone that is blessed with certain gifts, certain abilities. Things may come to you naturally that people struggle with. But the, but the real question is, are you positioned for greatness? Being positioned for greatness is critical in impacting lives. It's, lives. It's, it's very important that you position yourself. And I'm going to tell you how. Position yourself by, number one, letting go of your excuses. I had an opportunity to participate on a hangout last night where we discussed how in order for us to recover, in order for us to rebuild what we've lost, we have to take responsibility for the role that we played it. You know, because the, the blame game is easy. But sometimes you have to be willing to look at yourself in the mirror and consult self. Because any any change that happens, any real change happens, happens from the inside out. It doesn't happen from the outside in. And so you have to position yourself by number by also working on yourself. Working on yourself, accepting yourself for where you are right now and realizing that, that this is not where you're going to remain because you made a decision to not stay in that same place, to not have that same mindset, to not sit up and, and argue for your limitations. You have, you have the responsibility, you have an opportunity to make your dreams a reality, but you have to do it by positioning yourself. What are you doing to position yourself? Are you getting around people that will be honest with you and not just tell you stuff that you want to hear? Or are you showing an attitude of gratitude? And respecting the process. Are you, are you able to say, I'm thankful for the progress that I've made. Even though I'm not where I want to be as of yet. But I'm certainly not where I once was. And I see the progress. I see the, pro pro the progression. And I'm thankful for that. Because it's not about the sprint. It's about the marathon. And... Not only that, are you willing, in order for you to position yourself, have you accepted the reality that you cannot take everybody with you? I've often said that in the journey of life, people enter your life for reasons and seasons. Very few people enter your life for a lifetime. And so, some people feel like, because they're in your life for a long time that that gives them to uh, the right to joyride or ride your coattail and it doesn't because best believe if someone gets out of pocket and they know better so to speak then they can be replaced and you have to have that mindset. You are no one's doormat. Whatever you want out of life, you have to position yourself to receive it and go and get it. Some people say they want it, but they don't 
make the necessary steps to position yourself to get it. You got to get around people that are where you want to be. And by doing that, the greatness that that is already in you will all will start to come out and because you're tapping into it. You are around people that are not telling you what you want to hear. You're around people that are telling you what you need to hear. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to provide that value for you. If you want more information, feel free to connect with me. If you gotten value from this, feel free to like, comment, or share this video. You know, and remember in life you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video. And I'll see you. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.